are you ready hear it hi guys welcome to my channel thank you so so much guys for clicking back to this channel and in case it's a very very first time to come along this channel please subscribe enjoy the family my name is Terry. Karibuni sana wageni, karibuni, karibuni sana. Thank you so much for clicking to this channel. I promise you this is the best place for you stick around for more. So if you haven't my if you haven't watched my previous videos, you can always go back and watch them. Give it a thumbs up and leave a sweet comment. Let me know what you think about those videos. Yes, so that is simply it. That is what we do in this channel. We give a video a thumbs up and we subscribe and also we hit that notification bell up there you'll be notified anytime i post a new video yes so let me tell you guys apparently or recently uh, our home have become a tourist attraction our home our home have become a tourist attraction to the villagers around and to any other person who is new to our home every time a person visits visits our home is like surprised shocked i don't know why but there is a certain thing you guys eh? you guys there is a certain thing that makes people surprised when they whenever they come to visit our home but i will show you that thing uh after i show you my parents farm and whatever we do, we, we grow here whatever we plant and all those things after that i will get down guys <laughs> you're going to be surprised by the way i promise you that probably you have ever seen that thing but if you haven't leave a comment down below let me know what you think about that thing because let me tell you you'll be surprised probably but i promise you you'll be surprised because okay for us we are not that surprised because we are used to that thing but i'm very sure pretty sure that what what that uh when you see that thing you'll be shocked and surprised but don't be surprised and be shocked uh, without leaving a comment let me know what you think about that thing but before that let me show you whatever we have in our parents farm whatever they grow yes and how they do it uh, i know there are people who watch my videos in other countries that's why i'm i want to do this video because uh, not every other country that grows whatever we have in our farm and that's why i've decided to, to do this video for you i hope you guys are going to enjoy it i really hope so so leave a comment down below let me know what you think about my parents have they done a good job and whatever yeah have they have they done a good job okay i know it has not been raining for a couple of days so the plants might be you know they might be dry but uh, we're hoping for the rain we're hoping for the best so without much ado let me show you whatever we have Truth. so here we have potatoes all this all these potatoes and they are grown with the uh, maize this is how maize basically looks like so my mom and my dad uh, have planted all these all these are potatoes potatoes uh, yeah I, I, I know there are very many types of potatoes we have Irish potatoes we have sweet potatoes yes so you can comment down below let me know what type of potatoes are these okay we have uh, potatoes that have different types of flowers let me show you we have a potato that has a white flower and we have another one that has a purple flower so they have mixed them up uh yeah they are different i don't know if you are i am not <laughs> i'm not really good in farming so if you are better in farming or you are good in farming let me know the difference between a potato that has a white flower and a potato that has a purple flower yes so we plant with the maize katikati i don't know why but uh, <laughs> i'm not very good in farming guys but that is how my parents prefer doing uh, yeah in case uh, maybe to separate i don't know why <laughs> let me know other f okay i know there are people watching this video and they're farmers let me know why you people do this 
like you plant potatoes and uh, maize katikati i don't know why so let me just go and show you what we have uh the other good thing about farming is that we get maharath is it maharath terere yeah these are vegetables they are green vegetables they, you can mix these green vegetables with uh kills kills on all those things that is what you call mixed vegetables because i'm a chef i'm gonna tell you guys another time how we do it we have skuma wiki here these are kills all these are kills all this so we don't buy skuma wiki in our area and we also don't buy potatoes we also don't buy maize so you can see how advantages advantages it is to live in the rural areas so these are these are maize they are all grown we have been eating them to cook githeri githeri is a mixture of beans and maize you boil them and then you can you pre-cook them and then you can cook them afterwards. So we have maize here and you can see how big they are. So this is what we call maize. Maize can be used to cook ugali. Ugali is the staple food in Kenya, Africa. Africa, so we use, we cook ugali a lot, especially in the western areas. Those people love ugali. Ugali is a when... The maize is <laughs> is processed. Yeah, you. I think I've done that video of going to the portion mill. That is where this maize is processed and is made to become flour, cooking flour. Yes. So we also have potatoes inside here. So I've, as I've told you guys, the main the main crops that we grow here are maize and potatoes as you have seen so let me just go down and show you whatever other thing that we have so even down here we have potatoes they are yet to be harvested uh, as you can see this is how they look when they are all grown like when they are done so they are yet to be harvested they're gonna be harvested very very soon so that is why the area looks like that yes now because we are farmers, we have to grow napier grass. Napier grass is food for animals like cow, sheep, goats and all those things. They eat napier grass. So as you can see, there are a lot of them in this area, but they have been used. So down there, if I can zoom down there, all those are napier grass for the cows. As you can see, we have a lot of maize, guys. Uh -huh. We also have other, you see how they have, they have grown, they have really grown guys, all these are maize, maize, so ugali uku, niwi, iko kwa wingi, so yeah, so we also have cabbages down here, these ones are yet to, to be harvested, all these are cabbages, all this, all this, all this down here. All these guys, all this. My parents are really working hard to put something on the table. They are putting, they are setting an example to us. So all these are cabbages. I've told you guys that you don't buy anything. And if you have to buy anything to the to the market, it's unless we are not we are not growing them, we are not planting them. But however, we do not buy anything. So for cabbages, maize, potatoes, we don't buy them. We just harvested uh, carrots the other day. So you see how advantageous, guys, it is to live in the rural areas, unlike the urban areas where you have to buy a lot of things. Let me know in the comment section. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about it. We used to do debate in primary and high school about a life in the rural areas compared to the life in the urban areas. And as for me, I think life in the urban areas is really advantageous. Uh, in the rural areas is really advantageous because you don't have to buy a lot of things. Let me know what you think in the comment section. We also have potatoes down here. As I've told you guys, the farm is really big as you have seen. And whatever we plant here, whatever we plant here mostly is potatoes maize and cabbages so all this all this land my mom have planted potatoes they're gonna be used later uh, they sell them at 1800 sometimes 2000 per sack so that's a lot of money and they harvest like 20 sacks 
so you can calculate do fast math you can calculate that is, that's a lot of money so if you're thinking of investing in farming that one is really a good idea let me know in the comment section we also have uh, other cabbages down here our land is very very steepy so as you can see the other side ni our neighboring our neighbors yeah so uko ni chini alafu uko juu those are our neighbors our land is very very steepy yes so those are our neighbors up yeah. na ni mbali sana so yes do you remember i did a video on my childhood friend so the other thing about the village uh, we also have plums but normally they 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 grow at do they grow as in was in akua december at the end of the year every end of the year so this is how they look like if you have never seen a plant a uh, plum tree this is how they look like they are not yet ripe yet but this is how they look like and they are very very sweet they're so sweet i don't know why they have these dotted things i don't know why but they're normally very sweet not all of them look like that so this is how they they look like when they are not yet ripe but when they are ripe they look plums look like this when they are ripe thank you i've gotten them when they are ripe ah missy chukui so when you put in your nyesha watu by the kim zinaka hivi my brother anakata kwa sababu hakuna zenye zini ripe the people who have never seen stinging nettle this is the stinging nettle guys if i touch this thing hmm mtaitana huku so they have a burning sensation whenever you touch them but we use them to cook mokimo mokimo is a mixture of githeri potatoes and these greens over here you boil them and then when they are ready you pound them yes that mixture is called mokimo in kenya africa so that is it that is basically how everything looks like here in the village and whatever we plant this is another plum tree also these two and we also have other fruits here i don't know the name in english but i only know them in my native language as bishiri they are here i don't know the name in uh, in english but i only know them in my native language as bishiri <laughs> yes so that is it that is how basically we do not do a lot of uh, coffee and uh, tea plantation we don't do them here i don't maybe it's because of the of the weather they don't do so well here uh they do so well in other counties like Muranga, Kericho and uh, yeah so we don't plant coffee here so probably you might be wondering why i'm not showing you tea plantation and coffee plantation so we don't do them here as i've told you here the main crops that we grow are maize and potatoes as you have seen guys you have proven it yourself so i'm even wondering should i go through the farm showing you potatoes and maize because that is what we have here mainly that is what we have here yes as you can see you can even see the background those are maize so um that is it uh, it's a uh, a very big land i cannot calculate the acres but i'm pretty sure they are 10 acres and above i think so so yes they have planted maize and potatoes mostly so without much ado guys let me just go into the main purpose of this video let me show you whatever we have in our home that is making our home to be a tourist attraction yes napanda mlima that's why nahema hivo so let me just go and show you what we have that is making people in this village get shocked or surprised yes ready here it comes look at these guys this is really big <laughs> look at how big that ship is 
I sometimes think that this ship should be taken to the showground so that people can see it. It's really big, guys. And imagine it fights. It's really big. In fact, ikia zaruka hapo, mimi nimeisha. Mimi, uh, mimi na dunia, tumemalizana, by the way. So, this ship is big. It's worthy 20,000, as you can see it. Usi, usi darau, it's worthy 20,000 Kenya shillings. Oh my god. 20,000 Kenya shillings. So, this is it. This one has become a tourist attraction in our home. Whenever people come to visit us, they are always shocked and surprised to see such a big ship because it's rare. It's very rare. I hear it's called a... What is it called? The name of this ship is Hamsa. Hamsa, Hamsa, Hamsa. So if you're looking for a ship to buy, eh, bring 20,000. We will give it to you right away. Without 20,000, you cannot get it out of here so normally ships are are sold at five thousand seven thousand so you can imagine a ship that is going for twenty thousand how big it is so let me know in the comment section if you have ever seen such a ship let me know let me just know whatever you think about this big ship that fights so i think i'm just going to end this video right there uh, as i always say that anyone can be anything don't forget that anyone can be anything